Hello and a warm welcome to a new episode of Review. Today we will take a closer look at an Airbus A321-200 and the colors of Finnair. And as always, we start off with the box and here we can see we have the cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft inside. On top then we have the Finnair branding and another logo, more on that a bit later. Now, on the back side of the box, we have a very, very lovely image of the aircraft. We have a link provided by Helper where we can get more information about the aircraft itself. You can see it's a limited edition and again this logo, but more on that a bit later. And we can also see that it is a Harper Wings Club exclusive. So let's take a closer look inside the box. And here she is, the beautiful Airbus A321-200 in the current colors of Finnair. Now, Finnair is of course the flag carrier of Finland. And in Finland, in fact, they believe that Father Christmas or Santa Claus, whatever you want to call this magical creature, lives in Finland. Now, for me as a Dane, this is of course very controversial as we believe that Father Christmas or Santa Claus is in fact living on Greenland. But I will try to remain neutral in the review of this aircraft. Now before we take a closer look at the aircraft, it's worth mentioning that this aircraft does come with a stand. And if we then take a closer look at the tail section of the aircraft, we can see on the vertical stabilizer we have the Finnair branding. On the fuselage itself we have the Finnish flag, the full registration code and the European flag. And of course we have this logo that I've already mentioned before, which says official airline of Santa Claus, of course due to the belief that Santa Claus is living in Finland and not Greenland. Now if we then move from the back of the aircraft all the way to the front of the aircraft, along the fuselage we can see the writing of Finnair. Then in the front of the aircraft we have some very nice markings around the cockpit especially, and we also have the One World logo, although very tiny, but that is of course because Finnair is a member of the One World Alliance. Then if we take a look just at the front of the aircraft, just above the cockpit windows we have the last two letters of the registration code. And from there we can then nicely move to one of the highlights of the aircraft and that's of course the wings with the winglets. And they do, I must say, look really nice on an Airbus A321 and if we take a look here at the inner side we can also see the Finnair branding. Then if we look at the wings, they look particularly good on this aircraft model with a lot of markings on the wings on the upper side but also in the underside where we also have the full registration code. You can also see here the hole in the fuselage for the stand. In this case it's perfectly fine as I mentioned, this aircraft does come with a stand. Then a thing that I am normally never showing, but in this case it is really worth mentioning, the horizontal stabilizer here in the back, also markings on them, which is very unusual for Hapa Wings, but a really nice addition. And then of course, last but not least, we do have the doors to the cargo compartments. Now this is a very nice aircraft model from Hapa Wings, the detailing is really good, and of course no matter what your belief is in Santa Claus and where he originates from, um, we all know, of course, it's Greenland and not Finland, but nonetheless, the Christmassy theme on this aircraft, of course, particularly good in these days of the year, but it is a nice addition to the livery and it looks quite good. Now, in the last couple of years, I've always done a break between Christmas and New Year, but I've decided to keep uploading in this period although it will probably be with a little less videos um, than normally, but still every Wednesday there should be at least one new video out there for you guys. Next Wednesday I'm aiming for having a um, special, a new episode of special ready as uh, with the highlights of 2016. So I think that's definitely something you can look forward to. But if you are in doubt on what I'm planning to publish, follow me on Google+. Plus. I will keep you updated exactly on my plans, what I'm going to release. So just check that out. You can find a link directly from my YouTube front page. Now with that we have reached the end of today's episode which is also the last review of 2016. And with that I would like to say not just thank you for watching this episode but thank you very much for all your support throughout the entire year 
It's been a great run and I'm looking very much forward to continuing it in 2017. And with that I'd like to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Joyeux Noël et bonne année, glædelig jul og godt nytår, frohe Weihnachten und einen guten Rutsch.